Hello and welcome to part two of the terrain generation and satellite imagery creation tutorial from Forum 8AZ. The first tutorial, the first part, we created our center point, we downloaded our DEM data and created the Excel sheet and then created the XML data using our terrain generation Java program. In this one we will be using Google Earth Pro, the same Excel sheet that we filled out the last time, and Photoshop to create the satellite images for our UC Windrod model. So if we go to our Excel sheet here, the top of this, this is already filled out from before. We will scroll down to line 27 which says what is the size of the satellite image. This is the satellite imagery bounding box that we will be used to clip our images in, in Photoshop that we export from Google Earth Pro. So this is giving us coordinates of a top left position and a bottom right of whatever the size of this grid is. So if I put 4 kilometers by 4 kilometers here, this is going to give us a the coordinates, the top left position, latitude, longitude, of degrees, minutes, seconds, and then the bottom right position in Google Earth of another coordinate. So this is also degrees, minutes, seconds of latitude and longitude. So we would make for a four, We what we want to do, because of the, our 20 kilometers square in UC Wind Road, we want to make a four kilometer by four kilometer area that's much higher resolution satellite imagery where the model's actually going to go and then 20 kilometer by 20 kilometer area to fill the rest of it with lower quality resolution satellite images just so it doesn't look like the area ends so you can fly it looks good for flybys and such so we're going to put four and four and then use these coordinates to create i've already done this to save time we can shut off our 24 25 50, our whole degree markers and zoom in a bit here. I've already created these just because it's really easy to do. You just click the place mark thing and title this four kilometer top left, and then another one four kilometer bottom right, and put the latitude longitude that you got from the last the XML sheet in. So we have four kilometer, four kilometer. So those are our two corners. That's our bounding box for the four kilometers satellite imagery, and then 20 and 20 is our boundary for the 20 size box. So right now we're going to start with the 4x4 four four one. And I've already adjusted my screen here so this is exactly a square in Google Earth because when you export the image, Control alt s you can see that it's already at 4800 by 4800 If I was to nudge this a little bit to the side and do it, you can see that it changes the pixel resolution here which is not that important but I like to have it exactly a square so what you want to do is use your scroll keys to scroll in if you hold alt in the in the mouse wheel as you're scrolling when you get close you can see the top of my pin is right there that's one of my cutting points and the bottom one is just above the Google and that should be fine so if I hit control alt s here I'm going to save this I had one from before that didn't work out, and I'm going to do this one just to save over the top of it. We're going to call it marker 4 kilometer. Yes, we're going to replace it, and as this goes, it's now making a 4800 by 4800 image right there. So we can check it just to be sure that you can see our one pin there, and our other pin is above the Google Word, so it's not going to be in the Word, so that's perfect. So then we will we want to not scroll not touch anything here and just shut off the markers that we had before hit control alt s again premium again and then just make this four kilometers not a marker so that just saved that as well so now after we've created the marker and the actual image for both the four kilometer ones, there's a center point, we'll also do the same thing for the 20 kilometer ones. Just to zoom out and then sh make one, make a marker image, then shut all the markers off and create an actual image. And then after that, that's, we're done with Google Earth for now. So we will minimize this, we'll minimize the Excel sheet for now, and now we're just going into Photoshop. And what we're going to do is we're going to open, we're going to just do the four kilometer ones first. We'll open up both the, the image and the marker. We're going to need the info. 
So the marker one, we're going to hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy it. Then we're going to go to the actual one and hit Control V. And zoom in on this a little bit so you can see the quality of that. This is the center point, and I don't have my layers on. So the the background is our actual image. Layer one is the image that is the uh, the marker. So what we're gonna want to do is draw a marquee box. We're gonna have to go off fixed size and back to normal. Starting at this pin. And going to the bottom to the other pin. So once that's there, you can zoom out to see where the, the cutting box is going to be. Sorry for the beeping. Then we're going to make this layer invisible, which has the markers on it. And now this is just the background image. This is where our 4 kilometer by 4 kilometer area is going to be. We'll hit Control C, copy this a new file, paste it in, and because we're going to want each image to be 2048 by 2048 of these four, so there's going to be, in this, in the four kilometer area, we're going to break it down into, it's going to be a two by two area, each with two kilometers, so we're going to break this into four, so we need to first don't need the background, we just need the image. Um, we'll go to image, image size, and this we want this to be a square again because we could have been slightly off. So we're going to constrain proportions and make and we're not going to constrain proportions actually. It's going to make it 4096 by 4096. That should shrink it a little bit, but now it's back to being a square. We're going to go to our grid options guides and grids and we're gonna want this to be subdivisions this one can be every I think the maximum is a thousand pixels for this so if you set it to 512 you can set to 512 with subdivisions of one when you hit control plus the apostrophe to turn on your grid lines then you can see that four of these we're just trying to cut this into quarters so we're trying to make four separate, an A, a B, a C, and a D. So the first one, I mean, Photoshop is pretty good at being able to find the grid lines. It just snaps right to the grid. We'll save or copy that. Control N to make a new file. And paste this down. Shift Control S saves all. I'm going to switch this to JPEG and call this Abu Dhabi A. Okay, and then we're going to go back to this thing and continue to do that for B, C, and D. So control C, go to our same one, paste it over the top, shift control S, turn this to JPEG, Abu Dhabi, and this will be B. Save. Okay. Back to here and do C. Shift Control S. Same exact thing as before. And finally, we will do D. And so that's our, f we have the four squares to make our four kilometer grid. Now we're going to do, use our 20 kilometer by 20 kilometer one that we also made. I don't need any of this stuff open anymore. Open. Go to our 20 kilometer one and we have the same thing, a marker and the regular one. 
we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for the four kilometer one. Paste it over the top. Select the background because one over the top is the marker. Zoom in with our marquee here. And the one pinpoint all the way down to the other corner. To the other one. About right there. Then we will control C to copy that area. Control N for a new file. Control V to paste our new one. And then so for the 20 kilometer one, we are going to also change the image size. Because we're gonna only we're gonna have it's five across this time, so if we make it twenty-five sixty by twenty-five sixty, that's five times 512 pixel panels so 2560 click OK and now we're looking at about the exact same thing this middle square is what we just did in the four kilometer area and for this one we're gonna basically do the same thing we did before except now you have to do it 25 times so select one control C control N OK paste it control shift s jpeg and abu dhabi one and then we will do continue doing the same exact thing do this a couple times just to show you So get the point as we go along, we're going to eventually end up with 25 squares from this image and 4 squares from the other one, minus this one, so we're not going to use it, so we'll end up with 28 total squares. And those will be the, the cut satellite images that we will be bringing into UC Windroad, along with the XML terrain in part 3 of this tutorial.